Do you have the mark of the beast? Back in the late 1990s, I went to a conference on conspiracy and UFO theories in Colorado. I met Terry Cook, who was selling his book, The Mark of the New World Order. Not many people back then believed that the Mark of the Beast, as described in the Book of Revelation, would be an implantable microchip, as Cook's research suggested. Since then, the theory has caught on. RFID, radio frequency identification chips, are fa fairly well known. The Obama administration apparently had plans to start implanting the chips in people under a new law back in March 23, 2013. The chip will store a huge amount of information about the chipped individual, be trackable, and be linked to the person's bank account. Revelation says that no one will be able to buy or sell without the mark of the beast, which will be in the right hand or forehead. This is where most people stop reading. But Revelation also says that no one will be able to buy or sell without the mark of the beast, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. We will need only one of the three beast options to buy and sell. Revelation 13:16. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Revelation 13, 17. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. The seal, or mark, of God is also mentioned in Revelation and elsewhere in the Bible. Revelation 9, 4. And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal of God in their foreheads. So what are we talking about here? Is the mark of the beast, Satan, a microchip that will be implanted in our right hands or foreheads? Is this Satan's evil plan to attempt to force us to worship him? What is the seal of God? It certainly won't be an implantable microchip. Will it be a divine thing of protection? Let's take a look at some other biblical verses in reference to God's seal. Exodus 13, 9. And it shall be for a sign unto thee upon thine hand, and for a memorial between thine eyes, that the Lord's law may be in thy mouth, for with a strong hand hath the Lord brought thee out of Egypt. Exodus 13, 16. And it shall be for a token upon thine hand, and for frontlets between thine eyes. For by strength of hand the Lord brought us forth out of Egypt. Deuteronomy 6, 8. And thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thine hand, and they shall be as frontlets between thine eyes. I believe the real mark and seal refer to worship, or at least starts with worship. Not something like a microchip, a barcode, something that has the beast number 666, or anything of the sort. Both the mark of the beast and the seal of God will be in the hand and or the forehead. This may refer to beliefs, the forehead, and actions, hand. Worshiping God or Satan goes further than just what we believe. True worship also requires action. Just because I believe in Jesus Christ does not mean I'm a Christian. Satan believes in Jesus too, and he's definitely not a Christian. Worship is about belief and obedience. It requires the right kind of action. Who or what you believe in and follow is who or what you worship. The RFID chip, the number of the beast and the like, is certainly part of Satan's plan, yet I believe their primary purpose is to be used as smoke screens. We must remember that Satan is a master of deceit and the father of lies. The chip may be used as a distraction from the real mark of the beast and the seal of God. If the chip is the true mark of the beast and we are told to take it or be beheaded, we are presented with a very clear, straightforward decision. Take the mark and follow Satan, or follow Jesus by refusing the mark and get your head chopped off, but with the possibility of eternal life. Yet, if the mark or seal is about the actions we take on a daily basis that show loyalty to the one we worship, the problem becomes much more difficult. Is a Christian willing to shut out everything he can from his life that is not approved of by God? Will he turn off Lady Gaga and instead pray? Will he put down that porn magazine and start reading the Holy Bible? Will he stop celebrating pagan holidays like Easter and Halloween? Will he follow the Ten Commandments? Will he keep the Sabbath, destroy all types of idols, and love God above all else? 
Will he be loyal to God? Changing your life and refusing to follow the satanic systems which rule this world at the moment is much, much harder to do than getting beheaded. I prefer not to lose my head, but that is far easier for me than striving to live without sin every single moment of every single day of my life and to worship God. It is especially hard when society bombards us with paganism and temptations. If we believe that the chip is all there is to the mark of the beast, then we'll continue with our lives and be less concerned about who we really worship. After all, most of us don't have the chip yet, so there's time to have our fun and be disobedient to God, right? We must realize that at this very moment, we either have the mark of the beast in the forehead, beliefs, or in the hand, actions, or the seal of God in the forehead, or in the hand. Are we following the word of God as outlined in the Holy Scriptures, or are we being led by the world? Are we worshiping God or Satan? Do we have the seal or the mark? Matthew 6, 24, no man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve God and mammon. Mammon refers to material greed, often personified as a deity or false god. Subscribe to my channel for more videos.